Welcome back, my curious comrades, to another mind-bending adventure on our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the enchanting realm of nature to explore one of its most captivating secrets. Join me as we uncover the mysterious reasons behind why our skies are a magnificent hue of blue and why our oceans resemble an infinite sapphire blanket. So grab your snorkel, put on your thinking caps, and let's get ready to make a splash. The colors we see in nature are a source of beauty, wonder, and scientific curiosity. In particular, the blue hues of the sky and oceans have inspired poets, artists, and scientists to ponder what causes these colors. While water is transparent and colorless, and air is invisible, the unique properties of light interacting with water and air molecules lead to the vivid blues that paint our sky and seas. To understand why the sky and water appear blue, we must first consider some basic principles of light and color. Visible light consists of different wavelengths, each corresponding to a color in the rainbow. Humans see shorter wavelengths of light, such as blue and violet, while longer wavelengths appear red. When light encounters molecules or particles, some wavelengths are more likely to be scattered. For instance, the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in our atmosphere preferentially scatter shorter, bluer wavelengths. Rayleigh scattering, why the sky is blue. The scattering of sunlight by gases in our atmosphere is called Rayleigh scattering, named after physicist Lord Rayleigh who first described this mechanism in 1871. As sunlight enters our atmosphere and encounters gas molecules, these molecules act like tiny reflectors or prisms, changing the direction of light waves. Shorter blue wavelengths are scattered in every direction, making the sky look blue from every angle. Longer red wavelengths continue traveling straight, which is why sunsets appear more red when sunlight passes through more atmosphere near the horizon. In contrast to the gases in our sky, water molecules absorb light. Pure water appears blue because red, orange, and yellow wavelengths are efficiently absorbed, leaving mostly blue to be reflected back. However, water also scatters light, filling in some greens from medium wavelengths. Combined absorption and scattering give water its deep blue color. Impurities in water can change their color, like dissolved organic matter, adding yellowish or greenish tints in lakes or coastal regions. But in the open ocean, the water is very pure, so it absorbs all but the blue. With fewer competing colors, the blue wavelengths dominate, and the clear ocean water appears a brilliant blue. The shades of blue across the ocean vary subtly with water depth and composition. Near the coast, water contains more dissolved particles and phytoplankton that reflect green and brown wavelengths, muting the blue. In shallow areas, the sea floor reflects light back through the water, adding tan, gold, or green hues. But in the deep, Open ocean, water absorbs all other colors, becoming an intense, deep blue. As water depth increases, the darker indigo and violet wavelengths are also absorbed, creating a brighter cobalt blue color at mid-depths. In the upper 100 meters, where most light penetrates, the water looks medium blue. In extremely deep waters over 1,000 meters, all shorter wavelengths are filtered out, leaving only the deepest blues. Without as much light reflection, these regions appear dark, midnight blue, or black. The blue ocean planet we know as Earth is unique in our solar system, the other planets and moons lack comparable oceans and atmospheres. Yet when we look out at the daytime sky on a clear day, we see a similar blue to Earth reflected from above. The daytime sky's blue results from sunlight scattered by our atmosphere. But after sunset, outer space appears black with pinpricks of starlight. So, in gazing upward, we perceive an astronomical analogy to the blue ocean. The darkness of space is akin to the deep ocean, while the blue daytime sky evokes reflections off shallow seas. And our home planet remains the only place where such vivid blues fill both sky and sea. So, next time you find yourself gazing up at the mesmerizing blue sky or standing in awe of the vast ocean blues, remember the incredible science behind their enchantment. Whether it's the scattering of light in the sky or the selective absorption in the ocean, it's all about the interplay between our eyes, light, and the world around us. All right, adventurers, that concludes our journey through the wondrous world of why the sky and oceans are blue. I hope you've enjoyed this thrilling exploration as much as I have. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding content, and let us know in the comments if there are other fascinating topics you'd like us to dive into, quite literally.